Hi everyone, it's MJ the Fellow Actuary and in today's video we're going to be talking about NFTs, particularly the statement that NFTs are dead. And I know this is coming about because of the recent crypto crash and the thing about these crashes is they've happened in the past and they're most likely going to, to happen again. You know, whenever there's high expected return, you can also expect to have these volatility storms where we go through these periods where there are these shocks in the price, they come down and you know we could even then enter a bear market for foreseeable, you know, maybe a couple of months before we start seeing the spiking up again. Of course, it's crypto, anything can happen. These bear markets can be very short lived. We could have prices rebounding or like I say, it could take quite a while for the prices to return. But because of this price crash, some people are saying that the NFTs are dead. Now, what I find interesting about the statement is that it's kind of two statements in, in one because when people refer to NFTs, are they referring to the technology? You know, this idea that we can transfer non-fungible assets, you know, between various people and you know how frictionless this is compared to when we tried doing this in the, the physical world. And for that case, I don't think NFTs are, are dead. In fact, this is merely the the beginning and i think anyone who's been in logistics or is part of admin of any sort of financial securities or anything like that will realize that the technology of transferring of ownership is huge and we can just see nfts kind of kind of going through the roof from a technological point of view it's kind of like saying oh someone started selling books and the book stopped selling oh my gosh it's the end of you know the printing press it's like no maybe that one application of it didn't work but the technology itself is going to push forward and i like to always do that i like to always compare nfts to paper because essentially anything you can do with piece of paper you can do with an NFT as as well, just like how you can create art on paper, you can create a bond on paper, a currency, a, a contract, you can do all of these type of things with the non-fungible technology, except with a piece of paper, if I wanted to send it to you or you wanted to send it to me, we have to go through this whole elaborate postal system in order to try to get it to one of each other, whereas with NFT technology, I mean, my address is mjactory.eth, you could send an NFT straight to that address and I'll get it probably before you finish watching this video. So that type of technology is very, very powerful and we haven't even scratched the surface on the applications and your NFTs are going to become embedded in our way of life. But when people say NFTs are dead, they sometimes mean NFTs as how they're seen and used today and that is mainly the PFP or the profile picture projects. And this is this idea where we have the Board Ape Yacht Club where these things are selling for, for millions uh, of rands, hundreds and thousands of, of US dollars and to some people they seem very very crazy. You know why are you spending so much money on a JPEG of a monkey and oh this was tulip mania all over again and of course you know this crash was inevitable and profile pictures are, are dead and we're gonna move on from them. And I'm gonna I'm gonna maybe take a bit of a contrarian view and say that they're not dead, that the profile picture project idea, again, I would say it's in its infancy and we are going to see it having its role in the future. Especially when you look at how the, the sociology of the internet is kind of defined. We don't necessarily have a have a religion on the internet, you know, a collective religion which we sometimes have in our in our physical societies, you know, something to cement, you know, our social our social structures, establish some sort of hierarchy or provide a collective identity. You know, we don't have that collective or like I say, we don't all buy into the same religion online. Whereas these profile picture projects can kind of do that. If you think about it, and you know, you look at the Twitter interaction, you know, amongst various users, and you'll see someone with like a board ape yacht club talking down to somebody else, um, belittling their opinion by saying, "Oh, you know, come back to me when you've got a profile picture that is, you know, past a hundred ETH." You know, being very belittling, but it's this whole thing of you know, kind of forming a little bit of a hierarchy, and you have this hierarchy between the profile picture projects, with like I say, board ape yacht club and CryptoPunks being at the top. You know, then you've got Moonbirds, World of Women, and you know, you've got all the other smaller projects coming in there. 
But even within these profile picture projects, and I think this is one of the reasons for why they've been so successful, is because they're non-fungible in the sense that each one is unique and different, some have got traits that are rarer than others or more desirable. So for instance, sometimes you can have a profile picture where only 2% of them are wearing crowns or only 3% of them are have got blue skin or something like that. And the community then says, well, the rarer these ones are, the more valuable they are. So the people who hold this have more of a you know status in the hierarchy. So we're using these profile pictures to almost organize our society on, on the internet, which of course will lead into that whole metaverse concept as well. But also it's providing people with a collective identity. Again, that's something that religion provides for us here in the in the physical world. Um, whereas when you go online, it's kind of like, who who are you? Uh, you know, people can now say, oh, I'm a I'm an ape. They're part of the board ape yacht club, or you know, I'm a this if I'm part of this profile picture. So I think the profile pictures are are still gonna stay. I think what's happened is it was very, very easy money or very very easy to to set up these communities to begin with you just needed a 10,000 generative art project a little smart contract a discord channel and you were good to go and then we had an abundance of supply a lot of rug pulls a lot of scams a lot of you know communities promising things and then roadmaps going nowhere so I think what this crash does is again it wipes out all of the the bad projects the projects that weren't actually offering anyone any substantial value and what we're gonna see is when the markets recover and like I said that could be soon or that could be in a long long time and I'm being vague purposely because of course this is one of the, the trickiest things when it comes to these markets is you don't exactly know the timing um, but there will be a return at at some stage and then what we will see is the capital will flow to the projects that are you know offering value so now the profile pictures that it's, it's actually quite interesting to watch them the ones that are still offering value the ones that are still building community the ones that are still hosting events i think these are the ones that when you know the bear market ends we can expect them to to start performing better and of course joining these things i mean i bought into only two of them i bought into like a slightly big one and a slightly small one just to kind of i guess learn and and see the whole thing uh for me you know you've got the little the little blue uh, llama in the background, that's my profile picture on, on Twitter and that was a one of one NFT which I made on, on Super. And I think as an artist in the space, you know, I come in more as a, how would I say, a little bit, you know, out and, and, and against the, the crowd, but I can definitely see and understand the appeal of being part of a community, having a shared profile picture. I did try it out for a while. It was amazing. You put this thing as your profile picture and then you start getting quite a lot of followers from people with very similar profile pictures to you. So if you want that social interaction, these profile pictures are offering this. And you know, people always say, oh, what's the utility of an NFT? And it's like, well, that's a utility. It's just quite difficult to you know, how do you quantify that social interaction? Anyway, maybe going a little bit um, off topic, but essentially just wanted to yeah, make this video, you know, just to say that, you know, are NFTs dead? And the answer is no on both fronts. No on the technology dying out. Like I said, I think that's got a bright future, many different applications, and also a no, they're not dead in their main application at the moment, which is these profile picture projects. I think that they do have a space um, specifically on, on Twitter, and they might even be more so when, you know, we are seeing Facebook is getting more and more involved in the whole NFT game as, as well. But those are some of my thoughts. Let me know what you think about NFTs in the comment section below. And as always, thanks so much for watching. Cheers.